Hey everyone, thanks for coming to the meeting today. I'm gonna to put a link to the doc in chat and uh, we'll read for 10 minutes, so we'll see you soon. Oh, and for anyone that's new, um, we use these document readings for meetings. Uh, we start the meeting with just reading up fronts. The document has all the information that you need to participate in the meeting itself. And uh, we turn off cameras. I'll put up a timer for 10 minutes and we'll come and check in and see how you're doing. So uh, if you're new here, go ahead and, and leave the video playing because that'll be 10 minutes of time. So you can get an idea of what it's like to read a document, kind of uh, consume the information, formulate some questions, and then come back and get ready to talk for 20 minutes or so afterwards to be able to discuss what we learned.
Hey, just checking in on everyone. It's been 10 minutes now, so if you need more time, let me know. Uh, it looks like in chat that people need a couple more minutes, so we'll give you two more minutes and we'll come back to discuss. Okay, everyone, thanks for reading the doc. Uh, in this case, this was a PR fax style doc, which is typically used for new features or improvements. And we start with creating a fake press release of what we would think might be announced if we actually ship this as a feature. Um, and now we can go ahead and discuss everything about the documents and the meeting itself. And this is usually where a lot of companies start with their meetings. They start just jumping in and discussing. And at Amazon, we start by reading docs. Uh, pretty much every meeting um, that I'm in it has some form of documents involved. It's actually really rare that documents aren't involved. Um, those are typically just one-offs or small group meetings, maybe one or two people. But the vast majority of my recurring meetings, as well as uh, any meetings that I'm calling, I have a doc for, whether that's data around uh, something like a PR fact narrative or something that we should add as a feature or a new service or things that uh, need more exploration as far as uh, what we call like six pagers that have a lot of data as well as monthly and weekly reviews for services. All of those are recurring meetings. They have a decent size audience of more than five people and every single one of them has a document that we read. Now comments were disabled for this document, but usually comments are allowed in documents. And so as you're reading, you can go through and leave comments and it also allows for questions that weren't brought up during the discussion time to be addressed. So whoever wrote the doc can go back through and answer those asynchronously. The time now for discussion in the meeting is really about things that you want more clarity on, things that are, you know, how does this actually work or, or want to discuss things that are kind of important, uh, whether that was a big idea or, or maybe a big gap that the document doesn't address. And some of these questions during the conversation will usually end up in the FAQ portion as additional questions uh, for future readers because every document goes through multiple iterations and sometimes those have multiple reviews and meetings, but a lot of times they get brought to different audiences. And so future audiences will be able to benefit from the questions brought up in the initial meeting and that gets tracked over time as part of the document. There are examples of other types of documents that exist that Amazon uses, but that's not really the important part. The important part of the meeting is the fact that all of the information is brought up front to the meeting and the meeting time is actually used for consuming that information. So this isn't something that I'm expecting you to do before you come to the meeting. This isn't something that I wrote a long email about. I'm reserving your time on a calendar and that is all the time that you sh that should be required of you to be able to 
consume the information and provide valuable feedback that I'm looking for as part of this meeting and what the outcomes will be. And that also produces a wealth of information about how decisions were made at the company. And so when I joined, I was joining during a season where we were writing a lot of documents. And I also had abilities to look up a lot of documents that I was interested in to see either how services started, how features started, why things were designed certain ways. Almost all of those were captured inside of these documents that were based on the services and the reviews that we go through on a regular basis. Don't get hung up too much on the actual document content itself. It is good to have a pattern for everyone at the company or at least certain types of meetings because then it becomes very familiar and automatic for you to be able to consume that information. It also helps people write the documents because if you're staring at a blank page and you need to write something fresh, it's a little easier to rely on some of those patterns from previous documents instead of saying create an entire format from scratch. I know in documents like PR facts, there is a problem statement, there's going to be a solution provided, there's a quote from someone, and there's a call to action to read more. Some of the things I really like about document-driven meetings is the fact that anytime I read a document, I read it in my voice. I'm not waiting for someone else to be a good presenter or to tell a good story, or they do have to have good writing abilities, but again, the patterns and templates can help there. But when I read it, I read it just as I normally read anything. And I, if I don't like someone's voice or I have a prejudice against them or a bias towards favoring them, some of that goes away because the document is presented on its own and I'm not necessarily thinking about who was behind this. I also enjoy document readings because I can exercise while I read documents. So I have a treadmill under my desk. I also have a stair climber and typical meetings will read for 10 minutes for something like a, a one pager PR fact like this, or we'll read up to 20 or 30 minutes for a six pager. And in both those cases, I get a decent workout in while I'm reading the documents and I don't have to worry about being on camera and looking awkward or even having my mic turned on because those are just things that are normal for us to do as far as reading and consuming the documents. Document. Me moving my body helps me focus on my reading. There are some things that are a little negative with document style meetings, and some of those I would like to call out are slow readers if, or slow processors of information. I am not a very fast reader, and I am usually one of the people that asks for more time reading a doc. There are occasions where I joined a little bit late or I got a late start or there's just too much information and I don't finish the doc during the reading period and I'll keep reading while the meeting discussion has started. But in general, I'm able to keep up with reading and leaving comments at least 80% of the time. One of the other things I don't really like about document meetings is it's really hard to do this when I'm distracted with doing something else. I often would take meetings from the car at other jobs. And I could do that because I was just driving and discussing and listening. In this case, I have to read something. I have to pay attention and focus for at least 10 minutes of the meeting. And I can't do that from my car. I can't do that while I'm doing something else that requires active brain attention or my eyes to do so. I think it would be great if there was a option in the document software to automatically read a document to me because that might help me keep pace a little better and also help me consume the information while I'm doing something else. I tend to consume audiobooks more than I consume physical books anyway, and so I like to consume information through my ears instead of my eyes. And having that as an option would help a lot, and some of the software isn't great for screen readers and is more distracting if I try to do it a different way. A few other things that are difficult but can be overcome with software or practice are having people read and leave comments at the same time. If the software doesn't update with comments synchronously, sometimes you step on each other's toes or ask the same question multiple times. Document management tends to be a problem too at really large companies or with lots of different teams creating documents. You end up having to funnel back to a PM or someone who wrote the doc or knows about the doc to be able to even find it on where the final revision is, who's reviewed it, how comments are going, because sometimes software and searching just does not work for that. I've been at Amazon for over three years now, and overall, I really do like having documents to be able to focus my attention during a meeting, not require things of me outside of the meeting time, and really put some of the burden on the person calling the meeting, because that's very expensive to do, and they have to be prepared with the documents. If there is no document to read, there is no meeting to attend. 
And a completed document is the best indicator of if a meeting is going to happen. And so it's easy to call outs of, I don't need to attend this meeting because there is no document to read. The information's not complete, or we just want to wait another week or two while we gather more information and have time to write it out. I've rescheduled plenty of my own meetings just because I was not ready with the documents. And I asked, hey, I need more time. Let's go ahead and reschedule. And everyone completely agreed because they didn't want to read incomplete information. Sometimes going through a document does feel more like a process burden than an improvement, but after doing it for so long of my career without any documents, I generally prefer it and I think I would try to include it, at least in parts, in some of my meetings in the future at other companies and I encourage other people to try it on their teams. So while no comments are available on the document itself, feel free to leave a comment in the video and let me know what you think.